The land of Tarkov is the home of many different species, each finding prosperity or death within the region. Each creature yields adaptations and abilities, aiding them in their survival. Perhaps the most adaptable of these species is the designated marksman rifle user. Come along with me as we observe these creatures grow from tough youngsters into resilient hunters. Similarly to the AK user, the DMR user has relatively strong beginnings. The SKS provides solid protection against scavs at both close and medium ranges. In addition, the DMR user is able to eliminate lone lesser PMCs. Despite this, the poor penetration power of the ammo coupled with a small magazine causes the DMR user to be vulnerable to mid-tier opponents. Some may utilize a scope, which makes them far more effective as they are able to strike from long range with surprise. With the OPSKS, the DMR user is able to effectively kill opponents with weak head protection. However, it leaves them more vulnerable at close ranges. The DMR user rapidly grows into its second stage and begins to employ tier 3 and low end tier 4 armor. At this point, they modify the SKS much more for closer range encounters. The increased magazine capacity coupled with the usage of BP ammo enables this creature to eliminate even higher tier PMCs. Their rapid adaptation of high tier ammo is a perfect example of their adaptable nature. On the other hand, they may begin to use the Vepa Hunter. Though sometimes used as a hard hitting battle rifle, it is most commonly used as a long-range marksman rifle. The penetrating power of the M80 round enables the DMR user to pierce the armor of mid-tier PMCs. This, as well as a higher muzzle velocity, makes the hunter superior over the SKS at long ranges. However, if pushed at close range or caught in the open, the Vepa Hunter provides little protection to its user. The third stage is the shortest for the DMR user, and sees the utilization of a modded Vepa Hunter, and in extremely rare cases, a sparsely modded M1A. The M1A provides comparable close range protection to the SKS, and enables the DMR user to defend itself at close and medium range. However, the M80 rounds that are most commonly used are incapable of piercing high tier armor. As a result, this creature is susceptible to high end opponents. 
Inversely, the Vepa Hunter sees the addition of a superior stock and scope, and in some rare cases, a suppressor. In addition, they begin to utilize M62 and M61 rounds, enabling them to pierce every armor in Tarkov with relative ease. At range, they pose a serious threat to every individual in Tarkov. However, at close range, they are rather vulnerable. The fourth stage sees the DMR user employ high-end tier 4 armor, as well as the power of the SVD. The SVD's high modularity makes it easy to employ at both close and long ranges. The power of the SNB round enables it to pierce nearly all armors. When configured for long range, the SVD user is a remarkable threat as it can eliminate most enemies with two shots to the thorax. They can strike suddenly and without warning, making them very effective killers. When in this configuration, they are more susceptible at close range, as a result, desire to remain further away from opponents. Contrarily, the close-range configuration enables the SVD user to be incredibly proficient at close and medium range. Scab bosses provide little challenge, and higher-tier PMCs can also make up the SVD user's prey. Though they most commonly wear tier 4 armor, the major exception is the factory subspecies, which commonly bears tier 5 armor. Overall, the SVD provides the DMR user strong close range performance and the ability to dominate most creatures. The Chad population of the DMR species is made up of three different subspecies. They all bear tier 5 or tier 6 armor and use high-end armor-piercing ammo. The SR25 Chad has the most well-rounded behavior of the three Chads. They are unpredictable as they are willing to engage both in close and long-range combat.
Their jack of all trades behavior makes them good at all ranges, but also a master of none. They are relatively uncommon, but are strong individuals who should never be taken lightly. Easily the least common of the three chads is the Arsas user. These creatures are capable at all ranges, but are much more partial to sniping. Their high-end scopes and focus on sniping enables them to be devastating opponents at long ranges. With their ability to fire follow-up shots, they are able to take riskier shots than the bolt action species. Though uncommon, the Arsas Chad is a devastating opponent at all ranges, and it would be foolish to disregard them. Without a doubt, the most common and aggressive of the DMR Chads is the M1A user. Though they can be effective at range, access to high capacity magazines as well as better modularity results in this creature pushing closely to its opponents. This is with good reason, as their low recoil makes rapid fire possible, enabling them to eliminate any individual extremely quickly. In some cases, they can even rival the aggression of the SMG species. Their abilities make it obvious why they are the most numerous of the DMR chads, and they show no signs of fading in power. Unlike most species in Tarkov, the DMR user has an incredibly rare stage, one that surpasses even the Chad populations. In terms of raw power, the Mark 18 Alpha is unrivaled. It is a blessing for the ecosystem that the AP mutation is extremely rare, as no species stands a chance against it. Even with the weaker FMJ ammo, the Mark 18 Alpha can kill any species with two or fewer hits. They are comfortable with both sniping and close range engagements, making them particularly dangerous.
all creatures in Tarkov know to avoid this creature, unless they are able to surprise them. They are the physical embodiment of death in the region. The DMR user enters the lands of Tarkov with humble beginnings, yet from these beginnings it can evolve into an extremely powerful Chad, or even Death Incarnate. Their strengths enable them to thrive in the varied ecosystems of Tarkov, and they have established themselves as fierce competitors for its resources. Their prominence in Tarkov is ever-present, and they will not be fading from this landscape any time soon.